Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. How can we make the Prophet some happy with us when we are so low and he is so high? It seems that we are very far from him. Yes. Understand that we are far from him, but he's very close to us. That he's always with us. We are Ahli Sunnah and for Ahli Sunnah, we're saying it is Hazir and his Nazir. He's always present with us at every time, everyone. And he is present and he's giving us warning and he is giving us good news too. We are far away from him. He's very close to us. Don't think he's far away from us. We are far away from him. So the question is, how do we uh, come close to him? How do we come close to him? How are we going to make him to be happy with us? One way that we can do, as much as we are thinking of him, as much as we are uh, making the root of Salawat al-Sharif, that much we are going to be known in the presence of the Prophet ﷺ. Every Salawat al-Sharif that you are making, an angel takes that Salawat and brings it to the presence of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. And is saying, so and so, the son of so and so, who is the son of so and so, is giving salams to you, Ya Rasulullah ﷺ. And Prophet ﷺ is saying, now give my salams back to him. Give ten salams back to him. So more that you are making salawat, not in gaflat, not as a robot, but sincerely you're making salawat, then that time more closer you're going to be with him, more you're going to be known in his presence. There are different kinds of salawat. The al sharif is one way that in our jamaat we're holding on. And in that, the al hayrat there is hidden there the greatest name of the Prophet, Now more you are known in his presence, then depending on your station, more you will be in connection with him, more you, he will be, in, uh, you will be witnessing him, you'll be seeing him. We are very far away from that. We are not doing all of that to be able to see him. We are doing this to get close to our Shaykh. Because now our Shaykh is representing him. Understand? And just as Prophet is representing Allah, and Allah is saying, my beloved one is representing him. And Prophet ﷺ is saying, my waris, my inheritors, they are representing me. They are saying, the ulama, they are the inheritors of the prophets. Prophet ﷺ is not meaning the scholars of book knowledge. He is talking about the scholars of the spiritual knowledge. Book knowledge is low. The zahir is low, the batin is high. Because in these days especially, anyone can become a scholar. Learn some Arabic, go to some madrasa. And you don't even have to have real faith. There are so many non-Muslim scholars who know more Quran and Hadith than you or me, or millions of Muslims. Every chair of the Islamic knowledge and department in America, in the West, almost, they are non-Muslims. They have more Zahir knowledge. They are scholars in that way, but they are not Muslims. They don't have faith. But they are teaching. They will teach you ayat. They will teach you hadith. They will teach you fiqh, even. And this nation has always been fooled by people claim that they are scholars but they are like wolves in sheep's clothing that there is a hadith about that too. but they are here zaman the worst are those fake scholars and this world is now filled with fake scholars so prophet is saying my inheritors they are the scholars are the inheritors my inheritors is not meaning those kind of scholars it's meaning those alim those who has ilm those who have knowledge about Allah and about Him. And those are the Evliya Allah. 
not the scholars from Medina University or Al Azhar University or Harvard or Sorbonne or you know. So uh, those ones, those are the ones with real knowledge. And we have to follow those ones because they hold the secrets. You want Prophet to be happy with you, to be close to you? Then be close to them. Be happy with them. Be with them. Serve them. Listen to them. Be with them. Allah is giving an order. Be with the Salihin. Those are Salihin. Those are awliya Allah. Be with them, serve them, sit with them, learn from them, then Prophet is going to be happy with you. Otherwise, by yourself you can only go a certain level. You can only go a certain station. Then that time your nafs will interfere. Shaitan is going to interfere. So many things, evil is going to interfere. But now if you are in the circle of believers, the circle of the salihin, the circle of the awliya, Shaitan will not interfere. And the ego that is shaitan that is inside of you, they will work on that to take it out. Because when you have those ones representing Prophet in front of you, you will be reminded of the Prophet more. You'll be reminded of Allah more because didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say through the mouth of His Prophet wasalam, in the Hadith Sharif, Prophet wasalam, saying, there are certain men, when you look at them, they will remind you of Allah. So there are men. Who are those men? Those are the Rijalullah, the Awliya Allah. You look at them, you're not going to be reminded of dunya. You're not going to be reminded of the pleasures and the treasures of the dunya or your ego. You'll be reminded of Allah and His Prophet. That's why we have pictures of our shaykhs all around us. Whenever we look at them, we remind them, we are reminded of Allah. We don't look at them to look at them. But people are saying, oh, that is bid'ah. Don't have pictures. But you say you have your own picture. You have a picture of your wife. You have a picture of your children. You have a picture of your graduation. Now, everyone who has a phone, they take pictures of everything. And they're posting their own pictures on Instagram and everything. And now they say, when we have pictures of shares, they say, no, this is haram. They are square head, foolish ones. So, in that way, you can become closer. Then, when you come closer, then you know, oh, it is not just to become closer. It is not just to make me happy. Because Allah is saying, how are you going to make me happy? What can you do for me? Be my servant. And in reality, if you are the servant of Allah, Allah will make you sultan and Allah will make you happy. Because now your will is together with the will of Allah. Your will is not fighting against His will. You are sent submission to His will. You are a Muslim. In that time, Prophet will be happy with you. Inshallah. Find a guide. Find a jamaat. Serve. Be Abdullah. Live the lifestyle of the Prophet. You can do that only with a guide and a jamaat. Step in your ego. Then that time, yes, you will be just, not only Prophet will be happy with you, you'll be beloved to the Prophet, as our Shaykh is beloved to the Prophet. Because everyone can claim to love Prophet, but we have to see who Prophet loves. That is different. Inshallah, may it be easy for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.